My mother is the fifth of seven children, and she was the first in her family to graduate from high school. My father is the eighth of eight. He too is the first person in his family to graduate from high school. Hi, I'm Donna Lavoy. I'm the Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm Terry Tomasic. I'm a professor in the Department of Sociology and Anthropology. Hi, I'm Danny Willis, Dean of the School of Nursing, and I was a first-generation college student. So my mother dropped out of the 10th grade to have me. Uh, my father, before he passed, liked to say that he quit the 8th grade twice. So I grew up in a family that um, did not have an educational history. My name is Evelyn Shields Benford. I am the director of the Shared Services Department under the Division of Student Development. Sometimes poor, sometimes working class family, alcoholic dad, so there was a fair amount of chaos in my home. Um, so for me, school became a kind of refuge. It was a safe place where I knew what was gonna happen every day. I knew there would be food and electricity. Um, and so I embraced school in all sorts of ways. My family was big. My family worked hard, very smart, loving people. And my family was not very much help in navigating the college experience. I'm Dr. Terry Redman. I serve as Special Assistant to the President for COVID-19 Response. I am also a professor in the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics and Director of the Institute for Biosecurity here at St. Louis University. Hello, my name is Mike Lewis. I'm the Provost, I'm a faculty member in the Department of Chemistry, and I'm a first-generation college student. When I got there as a first-gen student and probably all the other things in my background, I was really sure that everybody else there knew things I didn't know. Hello, my name is William Perkins. I'm Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management, and I am first generation. My name is Gary Barker. I'm Associate Dean for Undergraduate Affairs in the College of Arts and Sciences, and a professor of theater. And I was a first generation college student. The reality is that as a first gen student, I knew things they didn't know. I had resilience and I had perseverance and I could be adaptable to a, a quickly changing set of conditions and circumstances. I took three or four courses a semester. That's what I could afford working my way through college. In five years, I was able to graduate with my degree. In year four, I found faculty who invested a little bit in me and I was able to do research with them. And that really paved the way for me to continue on. I'm Debbie Lowy, Associate Provost here at St. Louis University, and I was a first-gen student. Hi, my name is Joel Jennings. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Sociology and Anthropology, and I was a first-gen student. I'm Dan Kozlowski, the chair of the Department of Communication, and I was a first-generation college student. I'm Fred Pastello, president of St. Louis University, and I was a first-generation college student know that there are faculty here at St. Louis University who have traveled a, a similar path to you, did not grow up in households where they had loved ones, family members, friends with the college experience. I am a first generation college student. And I'm a first generation college student. I am a first generation college student. And I'm a first generation college student. They too had trouble navigating their college experience. Don't wait until year four, like I did, to find those faculty. They're here, they want to help you. For any first-gen undergrads, any first-gen graduate students here at SLU, let me just say this. You will not only achieve the things you want to achieve, you will thrive in the work. And this moment of higher education is just one step in a journey that's gonna take you lots and lots of places. And your identity as a first-gen student is one of the reasons you will continue to thrive.